Good morning. We're going to make an owl this morning. And we're going to start off with a ball of clay. So you tear off a piece of clay from your, uh, your block and you roll it between the palms of your hands to form a ball. And then we want to make it a little oblong shape so we roll it to and fro like that. So it's about that shape there. Now we're going to take our fingers, our thumb, thumb would work probably best, and just press it into the clay to form the shape of the beginning of the eyes. And then we can take the tool of the back of a, uh, of a paintbrush and uh, form the sockets for the, for the eyeballs. If you have another round type tool, um, you can use that. Let me just smooth it out here a little bit. I like to put uh, expression in the eyes, so I'm going to show you how I do that. And if I'm going too fast for you, just pause the, the uh, video and then come back to me when you've caught up. When you're looking for your tools uh, at the uh, art store or the craft store, um, try to get a tool that's shaped like this. Especially this end here. Try to get a tool shaped like that. I just wanted to mention that. And I'll show you why in a minute. Next we're going to make uh, two, uh, two pupils to go into the eye sockets. And we just roll um, the clay between our fingers to form the uh, eyeballs and just drop them into the eye sockets. Okay. Now, with the back of your paintbrush, you can uh, create little pupils. That's the dark uh, round part of the eye that makes it look like you can see and um, you can see direction. I'm going to make them looking to the left. See how they're looking to the left? Now, I'm going to take a, a, a little noodle and place it on top. This is the eyelid. I'll do it on the other side as well. Oops. It's very easy to make owls and they're fun to do. Alright, now I'm going to take this tool that I was just telling you about and blend the top of the eyelid into the top of the uh, eye uh, surround area. And then I'm going to push this up. Push the eyelid up so it's not too uh, shaded in there. I'm going to do the same on this side. I got on, <clears throat> on an owl, uh, owl making kick about a week ago and since then I've made 13 owls and I'm going to put pictures of them in this, uh, in this with this video so you can see them. Okay. Now, um, there's a little ridge, uh, oh, first let's get the nose on there, the, uh, beak, I should call it the beak, and, uh, just put that right about here, blend it in.
It almost, it almost looks human, really. Okay. Now, there's a little ridge that goes around this uh, indented area here where the uh, eye sit. So you just uh, you pu push the push into the, towards the clay, and then you draw it out, and it carves it carves out that spot. And it's okay if it's a little bit rough because I'm going to show you how to deal with that in a minute. Okay, now you're going to take uh, your, your thumb and smooth that out. And we're almost there. It's so easy to do this. Now, uh, the next part would be to uh, add a texture to the body, um, or you can just leave it uh, smooth. And there's a couple ways to add texture. Um, there's actually lots of ways, but just for uh, sake, of, sake of example, sake of example, you can do this, which looks like feathers. And just go all the way around doing that you can uh, take the other side of the tool and uh, do this you could do a combination of the two you can uh, take the other end of the tool and do this looks like feathers almost So there's a lot of things that you can do, just try different things. You can take uh, a different tool and um, just uh, do this. And you can do a combination of all of these. So there you go. And uh, you can press it down on the table and uh, make it flat on the bottom so it'll stand up. He looks a little human, but that's okay. I think owls should look a little human. There we go. Um, so, um, see the other owls that I have on this video that I made in, the, in my little owl making binge? And, um, subscribe to my channel to let me know that you like my uh, videos and uh, please visit my website at jacobfolger.com thanks for watching